This is part 11 of C tutorial series. I am Arjun. In today's session, we will see about variables in C. Variables are the data objects which are used to store a value in it. We can manipulate the value in a variable while program is in execution. In order to use a variable in our program, first we should declare a variable. Declaration specifies the type and name of the variable that we are going to use in a program. We have to use this syntax to declare a variable in C program. Let's see how to do that. Open your code blocks ID. Now, here I am going to declare a variable with the syntax which we have seen earlier. Remember, while choosing the name of this variable, we have to follow the rules of an identifier which we have seen in our earlier sessions. And this data type specifies the type and size of data that this variable is going to store. In this case, I want to store integer type values. So, I declared the data type as an int. Now, when I execute this program, based on this data type, some amount of memory will be allocated to this variable. In C, we have few data types such as char, int, float, and double. Let's say I have used int data type. So, when the program is in execution, 4 bytes of memory will be allocated to this variable. As we know, each memory location will be having a unique address. So, this variable is also having an address. Let's see how to print that. Let me write a printf function. In order to get the address of this variable, we have to use an ampersand operator. And here, we have to write a format specifier. The format specifier is used to specify in which format the data has to be displayed. Usually, addresses are represented in an hexadecimal format. So, here we have to use %rp to format the address value in an hexadecimal format. Let me write %lp here and run the program. See, we got address of this variable. The name of this variable acts as a placeholder to this memory location. Now, we have to assign a value to this variable. After declaring a variable, if we assign a value to that, then it is known as variable definition or defining a value to the variable. You can do this by mentioning the variable name and assignment operator and the value which you want to store in that variable. Let's see how to do that. Here, I want to store a value 10 to this variable. We can do this by using an assignment operator. When we execute this program, the value 10 will be moved to memory location of variable. Let me write one more printf here to print the value of variable. Here, Percentile D specifies to print the value in decimal format. Let me execute this program. See, we got 10 as an output. Instead of writing a new line of code to define a value to this variable, we can define the value to this variable while declaring the variable itself. We call this as initialization of a variable. So, here, I am going to initialize this variable with 10. Let me execute this program. See, we got 10 as an output. In some cases, we might have to use more than one variable in our program. In that case, you can declare multiple variables in multiple lines, like this. Or, we can also declare multiple variables on same line by separating them with comma. And we can also initialize these variables on the same line. Now, let's see one more scenario. Here, I have declared a variable. Now, I didn't initialize any value to this variable or I didn't assign any value to this variable. I am trying to print this variable. Now, what value it will print? As per C standards, the behavior of this variable is undefined. That is, this variable contains an unexpected value. 
we can also call this value as a garbage value. Let's see why we get this garbage value. When we execute this program, based on this data type, some amount of memory will be allocated to this variable. Let's say we got 4 bytes and this is the memory location of this variable. Before we started executing our program, this memory location might have allocated to some other process. Let's say the name of this process is p1. In this process p1 might have used this location to store some value. Now, after finishing the execution of process p1, this memory location will be marked as free by operating system. And when we execute our program, it will be assigned to the variable which we declared in our program. So, we can't predict what value this memory location is holding now. It might contain 0 sometimes. So, it is always recommended to initialize a variable with 0 when we are declaring it because the garbage value will be overwritten by 0. Here, instead of assigning directly a value to the variable, we can also assign one variable to another variable. Let's say, here I am going to declare three variables that is int a equal to 1, comma b equal to 2, comma sum equal to 0. Now, I want to find the sum of a plus b and I want to store the result in some variable. Sum equal to a plus b. This is an addition operator which is used to perform an addition of two operands. Here, this will perform an addition of two variables and after performing addition, the result will be stored in the variable sum. Now let me print the value of this sum. Now the result which we are expecting is 3. Let's execute this program. See we got 3 as an output. Let's see what we have discussed in today's session. In today's session we have discussed what is a variable and how to declare, define and initialize a variable and also we have seen what is meant by garbage value and what happens if we won't initialize a variable with 0 and finally how to perform addition of two variables. That's it for this session. In our next session we'll see about local and global variables and their scope and lifetime. Thank you for listening. See you later in next session.